Hello loves, this is Liv right now. Today I am coming to you with a review and a tutorial of this beautiful wallpaper behind me from Graham and Brown. If you want to know more specific information about this beautiful wallpaper, you know what you got to do. Keep watching. Okay, Graham and Brown is a wallpaper company and they sell other things also. The one that I chose was Desire Silver, Desire Silver Wallpaper. And it looks like this. It's like a metallic silver finish and it's a damask print. Of course, you'll be able to see it better on the wall. And I'll leave a link down below to the wallpaper that I am showcasing in this video and um also is have a lot of other beautiful prints and styles that are available the quality is excellent and i would definitely recommend going to their website and picking up some beautiful unique wallpaper for your wall if you want to know more specific information about this beautiful wallpaper you know what you got to do keep watching First, I'm going to take this wallpaper adhesive and mix it according to the instructions on the back of the package. And then I'm going to take a leveler and make a straight line in the middle of the wall so I know where I want to hang my first piece. And I will add links to all the instructional videos that's on their um, Graham and Brown uh, YouTube page because they have a lot of great tutorials that will assist in you applying this wallpaper to the wall because I watched the videos myself. I'm sure you see me using the roller and the brush because I wanted to make sure I got it evenly distributed with no patches that's missing paste because I noticed if it's an area that's missing paste it will have bubbles later. After measuring the wall I pre cut all the strips that I would need to apply to the wall and I rolled it from the outside rolling in so when I start placing it on the wall it would be even and um, the process would go smoother. I'm sorry you can't see the top where I apply it at the top of the ceiling but I am recording this video by myself so I'm doing the very best that I can but again I am adding the links down below that would give you a more professional tutorial on how you apply it. This is my first time ever applying wallpaper, so this was definitely a learning process. As you can see, I'm adding the second piece of wallpaper and I'm smoothing it out with my hand, but I am going back with a smoother, well, my homemade smoother, and I'm smoothing it out to make sure that I got all the air bubbles out as much as I can because the wall is kind of textured. So I'm going to take this um, small paint roller, a foam roller, and I am going over the seams so it can dry smoothly. And here is the wallpaper, the gorgeous wallpaper, all hung up. Again, I will leave the links down to the professional tutorials to show you how to apply this wallpaper directly from the YouTube page of Graham and Brown because I want you to have the exact instructions that I had and you can be able to make it work for you so that you can get a beautiful result. The wallpaper is so gorgeous. The quality is so good and I could not be more excited about the way that it turned out. Again, this is my first time applying wallpaper. I only did one feature wall, but it was so easy and it's removable and it doesn't leave any residue behind. I am so ecstatic with the results. Hopefully you like this tutorial. 
make sure that you go to their website and check them out i want to thank graham and brown for sending this wallpaper to me for review purposes and as always be your own kind of beautiful because you my love are beautiful see you next time bye